going to be a good race. Yeah. Um, I think a lot closer than um, than what we expect. Yes, absolutely. Right across the board, um, it'll be closer. Okay, so a nice start there from lane five, Spencer Walker, the American. He was a 3.58 this morning, nice long strokes. And an even longer stroke rate in lane two coming from Jack McMillan from Bangor. As you can see, that real distance per stroke, keeping that head nice and low. So coming into the first 50, it looks like Jack McMillan from Bangor with 26.84. Jack's not hanging about in this race. That nice, so controlled in that freestyle. Nice high elbow catch. Nice long distance per stroke. Yeah, Jack knows what he has to do. He's got it nice and strong there for the first 25. And even for the first 100, he's going to turn in about a 50, 55, 56. So 55, 56, 1. 56, 2. So he's yeah, got there's a only good point, point one in between the two leaders yes. out front. And that's Tom Derbyshire in lane four from Bath. He swam this morning at 3.54. So if Jack can stick with him, absolutely, that'll be great. And obviously Jack going down the um, breathing to his left. So he'll be able to see everything on that way. And then just be aware and be able to hold that pace. And he switches his breath actually. So he's actually alternating his breath, breathing right on the way back, breathing left on the way out. And real aware of where uh, Tom is. Tom has got a slightly higher stroke rate as we come towards the 200 meters. These guys should be around 158, even faster coming into the 200 meters. Maybe 154. So Jack, Jack is very controlled well, here. 154, three and a 55, seven. So Jack, that's a really good time for Jack. That would be well on target for 355, 357, depending on how he holds on for the second half. He looks, still looks very controlled. Um, Tom Der Derbyshire is very well able to keep that pace up. So 250 meters now, 223.4. Tom Derbyshire is still out front. 0.9 of a second behind Jack McMillan, still holding on pretty strong. And the rest of the field pretty even from third to seventh. Jack, Jack has just picked up his uh, stroke right there, as you can see. His leg kick is even, even picking it up there now. So he is closing the gap, the gap on Tom. So as we go into the last 100, uh, Jack is going to turn on 3.56. So he needs to come back on a 59 to get this uh, World Junior time. 3.55 for World Youth Olympic Games and 3.57 for European Junior Championships. Jack is well able to see where everybody is. And the Americans are actually closing in nice and tight as well, which are pushing him on all the way. He knows exactly where Tom is. And as Tom turns 322. So hopefully Jack turns 325-26. Yeah. So he come back in a 29. 28, 29. 28, 29. He's, he's there with that 355. Yeah. So it's a 355 30 for young Jack McMillan. Tom Dervisher absolutely destroying the field now. A good 10 meters ahead. Jack slightly tying up a little bit, but should be able to hold on for second place. Tom touches first in a 351.54. Jack's Irish junior record is 357.3. And, and Jack McMillan in second in a 357.71. So slightly outside the World Youth Olympic Games qualifying just time. 0.2 outside European Junior Championships. That's. Ah, uh, that is a close one. 0.2 of a second. 